In this video I'm going to be testing six manual focus 50mm prime lenses to find out which is the sharpest. The 50mm is often the first prime lens that many people buy to complement their kit lens and with mirrorless cameras being so versatile when it comes to adapting other lenses it means that there are now dozens of 50mm lenses to choose from. So in this video I'm going to be taking a look at six of the most common. First I have the Pentax FSMC 1.7, next the Minolta MD 50mm 1.7, the Canon FD 1.4 SSC, the Carl Zeiss Planar F1.7 Contax, the Nikon Series E 1.8, and finally the Canon New FD 50mm 1.4. And to test the lenses I'm going to be using a Sony A6000. Ok so starting off at f1.4 the only two lenses that fast are the two Canons. Here's the image from the SSC and from the new FD. Looking at the 100% crop, the new FD is clearly much sharper. Moving on to f1.7, 1.8 now, here's the Canon SSC, the Canon new FD, the Minolta, the Pentax, the Nikon, and finally the Zeiss. The 100% crops show that the sharpest two lenses are the Canon U FT and the Zeiss, with the Nikon very close behind. The softest again is the Canon SSC, followed by the Minolta. Now stopping down to f2.8, here's the Canon SSC, the Canon U FT, the Minolta, Pentax. Nikon and the Zeiss. The 100% crop here shows that all of the lenses are very close indeed. The sharpest of the lot is the Nikon followed closely by the Zeiss and the Canon UFD. The Canon SSC is still the softest but stopping down has improved the sharpness a lot. Finally stopping down again to f5.6 Here's the image from the Canon SSC, the Canon New FD, the Minolta, Pentax, Nikon, and the Zeiss. The 100% crop again, and all of the lenses are now very close in terms of sharpness. There's very little to choose between any of them, but I'd have to say that the sharpest is the Nikon, followed by the Zeiss and the Canon U FD. But they're all very sharp at this aperture. So if you're looking for a legacy 50mm lens, pretty much all of the lenses I tested would do a very good job. The Canon 1.4 SSC is pretty soft wide open, but it sharpens up a lot by stopping down to f2.8. The Zeiss is very sharp, but it's also the most expensive. It normally goes for around $150 on eBay. The best bang for the buck, in my opinion, is the Nikon Series E. It can be picked up for around $50. It's sharp from wide open, and it's also the most compact of all of the lenses I tested. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.